can manage your custom dashboard with SalesMate CRM. Have you been enjoying the quick analytics from your dashboard? Let us learn how you can manage your custom dashboard with SalesMate CRM. Before proceeding, please note that creating a new dashboard is subject to the profile permission under Setup, followed by Profile Permissions. Make sure the users have appropriate permissions in advance. You can quickly navigate to Dashboard followed by Dashboard 2.0, Actions button and click on Manage Dashboard. You will come across the entire list of custom dashboards that has been created. Here, SalesMate gives you the option to filter the dashboard based on the owner. You can click on the drop-down and select a specific user whose dashboard you would like to manage. Once you select the user, all the respective dashboards created under the ownership of that user will be filtered for you. You will find quick actions of delete and change owner that can be done in bulk. When you choose the option to delete, SalesMate will give you the confirmation pop-up that deletion would be an irreversible process. On clicking yes, those respective custom dashboards will be deleted. You will receive a delete notification as soon as the dashboard is deleted. In order to change the ownership, you need to select the respective dashboards and click on Change Owner. You can select the new owner from the drop-down here. Please note that if you are on Growth Plan, you will be allowed to transfer only three dashboards to the other owner. This will include existing dashboards created by him, 10 dashboards with Boost Plan. You will also find these basic edit options when you hover on any of the dashboard. An action button will appear, which will give you the options to change owner, edit, and delete the dashboard. Let us understand each of these in detail. When you click on Change Owner, you get the option to change the ownership of the dashboard. Now next on the plate is Edit Dashboard. It allows you to change the dashboard name and the privacy settings. These privacy settings help you in determining who can see your dashboard. The Private option lets you keep the entire dashboard just limited to you. Nobody else from your team can see your dashboard. The public option lets you grant access to all the teammates. The next option, which is visible to particular users, lets you separately add selected users by just adding their name in this section. The other option, visible to particular team, lets you separately add multiple teams by just adding the team name in this section. When you select either public, visible to particular users, or particular team, permission for widgets will be activated for you, which lets you choose the widget add or remove permissions to either the owner or keeping it shared with everyone else who has access to the dashboard in the team. Once the basic edit settings are done, you can then click on update to save the settings. The other action that you can perform with the basic managing dashboard is to delete the dashboard. This is all about the list view of the custom dashboard. Let us understand what manage settings you will find when you go to any dashboard in the detail view. You will find the actions dropdown with the following options, namely clone, edit, delete, email, managing recurring emails, and manage dashboard. Let us understand each of them one by one. With clone dashboard, it will let you create a new dashboard from the existing dashboard in the system. When you click on it, a pop-up screen will appear, which will be pre-filled by the information of the dashboard which is getting cloned. You can change the dashboard privacy settings and decide who can add, remove widgets from the new dashboard you create. Click on Save, and a new dashboard will be created with the clone action. The Edit Dashboard and the Delete Dashboard is the same that we learned with the Dashboard List view in the first half of this video. Email This Dashboard is an interesting option that you will find so convenient to email the dashboard that you have been working on. When you click on it, a pre-filled pop-up will appear where you can change the email subject, recipients who will be the internal teammates who are on SalesMate, additional recipients will basically be all those individuals who are not using SalesMate. Add your custom message in the body part of the email. Now if you keep the toggle button on for the recurring emails, SalesMate will send the email to the selected recipients on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis as per the time and frequency you choose. You can then select which widgets would you like to include all or selected widgets only. Selected widgets will give you a drop-down to choose the widgets. 
then how would you like to send the email report as an inline image or send it as a PDF doc? What should be the email format? Single or multiple widgets per page, and the last one as in what filters would you like to make? Send the email without any filters, or would you like to send the filtered report in email? Choosing selected filters will populate the filters applied in the dashboard, like date range, users, teams, deal pipeline. You can further customize the filters as per your current needs. Once the selection of respective options is done, you can preview and schedule the dashboard email. The next in the action menu is managing your recurring email. When you click on it, SalesMate will show you all those dashboards that are kept aligned to be sent on a regular basis. You can select the respective dashboard that you would like to change from the drop-down here. Click on the respective dashboard and make the relevant changes that you would like to make and hit the Update button. This entire process of managing custom dashboard is way simple and easy to learn. Still, in case if you find yourself with a question, feel free to connect to our support executives. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay tuned with what's new at SalesMate CRM.